Kevin Lyles, has decided to step down this past week because he wants the younger people to take over. Attorney Shatan Turner, talk to us about the stepping down of all these CEOs and what does this mean? Is is there some? I, I'm sorry, I just don't see the CEO of Nike being at a Diddy freak off. Now, the other music guys that stepped down, maybe so. I don't know. I've been to a lot of Diddy parties. I never saw them there. I did see Kevin Lyles there, though. So tell me, (laughs) Sachan, what's going on with all these CEOs stepping down? So it could be everything and it could be nothing. There's a phrase in medicine called it goes true, true and unrelated. So what we it's a concept that, you know, you have these medical symptoms but it does not relate to the conclusion it's being purported to. So there's a lot of people who are, you know, getting a lot of hits and, you know, people watching the show now, make sure you like us, but they're getting a lot of hits, a lot of likes because they're talking about this Diddy um, connection and it's trending. Right. And so any story that comes out talking about Diddy trends. So they're looking at these CEOs who have some connection to him and saying, I know the answer for why they're stepping down is because their connection uh. to Diddy. It could be because their contract is up. It could be because they want to spend more time with their family. Isn't that what they always say when they leave the White House? I want to right. spend more time with my family. Um, it could be that, you know, they found Jesus. You know, they might be going to do yoga. We do not really know why these people are stepping down. And chances are none of them are going to say it's because I got my bussy tickled at the freak off party. So (laughs) we we just won't know. But I do. I will say this. Some contracts. I know. I don't know why I said that. Um, (laughs) Um, But some contracts do have morality clauses in there. Okay. They got their bussies tickled at the freak off party. Shadon. Order in the court. You let Simone Redwine just, you're just going down with the shit. You are going down with the shit. I just said, Your Honor, just finally, I'll say. Booty holes tickled, booty holes tickled at the free off. No, bussies. They're bussies tickled at the free off parts. I've heard a lot of things in this court, but geez. All of it. All of it. Okay. But I just want to say, what about just the basic? What about the just basic financial reporting? It's the third quarter, like Simone said. You're not meeting your numbers and you have to make the announcements. What happened to that basic? (laughs) It could be that too. Yeah, it could be that their stock performance wasn't right. It It could be a lot of legitimate reasons, but you never know. (laughs) Oh, gosh. All right, Simone, what were you going to say? No, I was just going to say that it's third quarter. And so if someone is going to step down under SEC guidelines, as soon as it's known, the corporation is supposed to notify them. So I believe that they're notifying everyone now because it's the end of the third quarter. They have to do so legally. And so it's probably as much as I love a Diddy conspiracy theory, I think here (laughs) it's probably more so just associated to the SEC governance laws. Okay, awesome. So this has to do with their financial statement in there. Yeah. And yeah. not whether they use lube or baby oil, right? Okay, all 